Welcome back to our channel, Machinery and Technology. Today we have a truly electrifying topic, fabrication process of a rocket tank. Manufacturing a rocket fuel tank is a complex and a highly specialized process that requires precision, advanced materials, and quality control. The choice of technology and material depends on the type of rocket. It's indeed mission, and the fuel it will carry. So if you're ready to spark your curiosity, let's dive right in. Rockets sometimes use a lot of fuel, not just the 95% of rocket mass can be fueled to hold all this fuel, the rockets need some massive fuel tanks. A lot of engineers goes into making these fuel tanks as efficient as possible. Tanks are filled with a gas, usually nitrogen, and are kept pressurized until the rocket is on the launch pad and ready to be filled with fuel. Another method for reducing the weight of the fuel tanks is to use lightweight materials. In the past, many rockets used stainless steel, but modern rockets often use aluminum alloys or carbon fiber. It is important for these materials to be resistant to corrosion, as the oxidizer used by rocket can use certain materials to lose the strength quite quickly. Many rockets use cryogenic propellants, which boil up quickly when stored in a thin fuel tanks to keep these propellants cold. The fuel tanks are coated with an insulting material. This material is what gave the Space Shuttle's external tank and the Delta Force first stage their iconic orange color. Another problem many early rocket faced was loading in its vortex. In a fuel, this sloshing could case the early ship down of a rocket engine which would prevent the rocket from the reaching orbit. To prevent this, most fuel tanks have internal baffles, which help to ensure a steady flow of fuel to the engine. The fabrication process for a rocket tank is a complex and highly specialized procedure, and it can vary depending on the specific design, materials, and the requirements of the rocket. However, I can provide a general overview of the steps involved in fabricating a rocket tank. Design. The process begins with the design of the rocket tanks. Engineers and designers create detailed plans and the specifications for the tank, taking into account factors like size, shape, materials, and structural integrity. The design must also consider the tank's indeed use, whether it's for fuel oxidizer or other purposes. Material selection. The choice of material is a critical. Rocket tanks are typically made from lightweight and high-strength materials like aluminum alloys, titanium or composite materials. The selection of materials depends on the factors such as the rocket mission, the type of the propellant it will carry, and the weight constraints. Cutting and shaping. Once the material is selected, they are cut and shaped according to the design specification. Advanced machining tools and techniques are used to ensure precision and accuracy. Welding and assembly. The tank components are assembled and welded together. Specialized welding techniques, such as a TIG, are used to create strong, leak-proof seams. Quality control. Rigorous quality control process are employed throughout the fabrication process. Non-destructive testing methods, such as ultrasonic testing and X-ray inspection, are used to detect any defects or imperfections in the welded end material.
pressure testing. To ensure the tank's integrity in either of those pressure testing, this involves pressurizing the tank to verify that it is safety contained properly without leaking or failing. Coating and insulation. Depending on the design the purpose of the tank, it may require protective coating, insulation, and other surface treatments to widen the extreme condition of space travel. Integration. The rocket tank is integrated into the overall rocket structure, which includes connecting into the rocket propulsion system and other components. Final inspection. Before the rocket is ready for launch, a final inspection is conducted to verify that all components, including the tank, meet the necessary safety and performance standards. Launch and a post-fly analysis. Once the rocket is launched, data is collected to analyze its performance, including the behavior of the tank during the mission. These data can inform future rocket tank designers and improvements. It is important to know that the rocket tank fabrication is a highly specialized field, and the specific process and materials can use vary between different rocket manufacturers and missions. Safety and precision are paramount in the fabrication process to ensure the reliability and success of the rocket mission. This time-lapse video shows the construction and rotation of the liquid hydrogen tank for the core stage of NASA Space Launch System rocket. The new heavy lift rocket being built in the Vehicle Assembly Center of the NASA McChild Assembly Facility in New Orleans. There are two views, looking down as the tank is assembled and then looking up. The hydrogen tank compromises nearly two-thirds of the length of the 2012-foot-long care stage and will help quench the thirst of the four RS-25 engines that, along with the twin solid rocket boosters, will launch the Orion spacecraft and carry crew to deep space destination and eventually Mars. This qualification tank will move to NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in the Hospital, Alabama, for structuring testing. Testing ensures the fly articles will be able to sustain the extreme forces experienced during the launch. Tanks and other parts of the core stage that will flow on the Maiden flight of SLS and Orion are also under construction and mission. More than 1.7 miles of welds have been completed for the core stage hardware at Michal. This liquid hydrogen fuel tank is the largest piece of the port stage that will provide the fuel for the first flight of the NASA new rocket, the Space Launch System with the Orion spacecraft in 2018. The tank is more than 212 feet long and together with the liquid oxygen, tank holds 7,333,000 gallons of the propellant to feed the vehicle's four Ares 25 engines to produce a total of 2 million pounds of thrust. SLS will have the power and capacity to carry humans to Mars.
team of engineers from NASA and Boeing came up with a unique propellant tank designed in a manufacturing process to build one of the largest composite rocket fuel tanks ever made. The 18-foot diameter tank will be tested with cryogenic hydrogen of NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. There, during launch composite, the tank is designed to be 30% lighter than the state of the art and at the same time 20% less costly. They perform in this composite tank technology development for a number of stakeholders for the meet NASA needs. They need to reduce the weight of the launch vehicles today, but there are many, many other stakeholders, the Department of Defense, for example, for their launch vehicles, and then other customers in the commercial arena, as well as the NASA Space Technology Mission Decorate S.